Hello, I'm Pastor Max Dukeson from the Victory Assembly God Church in Carrollton, Texas, and it's a joy of mine, a privilege, to come before you and share from the Word of God, and I pray that this short word will encourage you and strengthen you today. I just want to begin with prayer that the Lord will minister to you and to your need and to your family. Father, I come before you, and I pray, Lord, that you would minister to those that are hearing my voice, even at this moment, at this time, you know what their needs are. Lord, strengthen them, encourage them in Jesus' name today. You know, I want to share with you about time. When we think about time, time is so precious. And I want to share with you about time to look to His Word. You know, the only true source of, of stability in this world in which we have is Christ and standing upon the Word of God. You know, the moment we receive Christ as Savior and Lord of our lives, and if you have never surrendered to Christ, let me encourage you today to say, Lord, come into my heart, forgive me of my sins, and trust Him. When you become a, a Christian, when you are saved by the blood of the Lord, then the Lord is Lord of our clocks and our calendar. In Psalms 139, 16, the psalmist says this, Like an open book, you watch me grow from conception to birth. All the stages of my life were spread out before you. The days of my life all prepared before I even lived one day. You see, our goal is to allot our time to God that God has ordained for our tasks. God has given us tasks to do, and the finest hours should be invested in our walk with the Lord. You know, healthy relationships require dedication require dedicated time to each other, and we cannot develop friendships without someone sharing time together. It takes time to talk and to listen and to understand and to grow closer. And that's why Jesus made this statement in Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. He says this, but when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. In other words, go into your room, shut the door, and pray to your Heavenly Father. And what else? Well, we must do as Mary of Bethany did. She sat at Jesus' feet, and she listened to His words. Two things. When we talk to God, it's called prayer. But when He speaks to us, it's called Bible study. You see, when you meet the Lord each day in personal Bible study, it's more than a routine or a ritual or a research. It's a relationship. And you're listening to His voice in Scripture, and you're enjoying the pleasure of His company. Think about that. James tells us, he says this. He says in James 1.25, But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it, and is not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this one will be blessed in what he does. You see, after meeting the Lord in our secret room each day, we open a door and we leave. But think about this. After you have gone to that closet, you shut the door, and you meet the Lord, and you pray, and you have this wonderful time of personal relationship with the Lord. Then we open a door and we leave, but we don't leave God behind. Amen? He walks with us into the day, into the night, into all or any situation that we might face that day. The Lord is with us. And so I want to leave that word with you. The God that we love, the Lord says he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Trust him today. Father, meet the needs of everyone today to trust you and to know that you had promised that you would never leave us alone. We receive that by faith in Jesus' name. God bless you.